actually it originates from plants and then it ends up being what it is so when you think of it in that way you realize that actually natural ways will always be able to support and they align better with our bodies and also the fact that um there are no side effects especially if it's done properly it is a holistic approach to health be it um you know whether you are busy or not if someone actually is struggling maybe let's say with a fertility issue or fibers issue you know it is a holistic approach meaning they now have to watch their diet and nutrition their weight management you know they have to make sure that their hormones are balanced they have to make sure that they sleep better they de-stress and all that so that means they might start working out eating healthy you know de-stressing taking a walk in nature and in the process they're actually living a better life so that's why i really prefer to focus on a natural holistic way to heal the body because you'll also end up healing other areas you are not aware you know were struggling in the process okay yeah and talking about infertility yeah infertility affecting both men and women yes actually you know when people talk about infertility they just think of, of the woman they think of um, Sarah in the Bible. I know. They think of all the women, but it is an issue that is affecting uh, both genders yes. as well. And so we're focusing on the natural ways to restore. Yeah. So where do we start from exactly? So say this is a person who has uh, been trying. Yeah. Because I believe uh, infertility is deemed if you've been trying for. Uh, a good 12 months a whole year a whole year yes so then uh, after 12 months and someone has been unsuccessful mm. you know to conceive mm. so where then do you start well the most important thing is for women to understand and men that fertility doesn't just start with your reproductive organs okay. it starts from the brain as well because with you know at the base of your brain you have two very tiny glands the hypothalamus and the pituitary glands these glands are actually important in releasing a hormone known as gnrh or gonadotropin releasing hormone and this hormone is what is going to prompt now the release of hormones that will lead to production of eggs maturity of this egg fertilization of the egg and so forth so you have to understand fertility from that aspect it's not just going to affect your reproductive organs also your brain needs to play a part that's why you know things like distress and all that are actually very important so um, when it comes to that then natural ways to actually boost your fertility will um, be more successful if you understand what type of infertility you're struggling with right there are women who are struggling with ovulatory infertility this simply means that um, anything that affects their um, production of eggs or ovulation <clears throat> excuse me basically when a woman goes to the, their cycle monthly um they are going to have a phase whereby they have an ovulatory window or an ovulation window so the ovulation window will only occur if um the hypothalamus and pituitary gland release the gnrh and then they are actually going to prompt the release of follicle stimulating hormone right. basically that's what it is it's a hormone that stimulates the follicles the follicles are now the numerous eggs that we are going to hope for one to turn into a healthy egg right. so because of that uh, women who struggle with ovulatory issues um, need to understand that this is an issue that well number one they can reverse because that means it's hormonal right because you need the right hormones in order for you to produce the follicles so if you're struggling with hormonal imbalances like with estrogen progesterone too much prolactin then you actually going to struggle with your ovulation and also you'll find that women who struggle with conditions like PCOS or cysts right. get to struggle with their fertility because they have anovulatory cycles meaning they actually don't ovulate at all that's why they're missing their period so once you understand what type of fertility issue you're struggling with then you can be able to reverse it naturally okay so first step is yeah. to identify yes so you just don't go blindly no into looking for a remedy yes so okay. your fertility doctor is actually going to advise you they'll run some tests and once they run some tests they're going to let you know because they will run some uh, tests on your hormone levels so if they see that maybe let's say there's an underproduction of certain hormones of overproduction then they'll know something is wrong somewhere so they might check they might even do an MRI to check your brain to see if there's a tumor in the glands that we're talking about that release the hormone they might actually do an ultrasound to check your ovaries and see if they are okay and your fallopian tubes if they are blocked and so forth now because of that you will understand what type of issue you're dealing with and an important thing to mention um, the the types or the common causes of infertility 
um, will actually lead a woman to understand what they can be able to do. For instance, other than ovulatory issues, it might actually be uh, an issue that is hormonal. Right. right. There are some women who are actually not producing the right hormones that are supposed to support them to have either a menstrual cycle, because a cycle will also tell you that you are ready and, and um, re of reproductive age, or they are not producing the right hormones to ovulate and so forth. And also structural uh, issues. Some women actually have structural issues with their reproductive organs, like a blocked fallopian tube would be a reason why you would struggle with fertility. So, and this is caused by inflammation, sometimes scarring, sometimes endometriosis. So the tests will actually help you in identifying what type of issue you have with right. fertility. Then now the natural remedies will come in once you know what type. Yeah. Okay.